What's up, everyone? I hope you're doing well. In Warzone 3, accuracy is king. So today I'm giving you five of the most accurate, easy to control recoil long range loadouts in the game. These are in no particular order, and I always recommend you use what's most comfortable to you because if you're not comfortable, you're not pushing your enemies, which leads to you not getting more eliminations. Let's get into it. But first, I want to show you kind of a little secret of how to test these out for yourself. And this is why if you play Warzone 3 on controller and you're constantly asking yourself how all these streamers have zero recoil, you're probably just using the wrong loadout. Here's what I mean just like every single day you see a streamer come out with a new broken meta loadout but just because they are meta to your favorite streamer doesn't mean it's the best loadout for you or even the best weapon for you to use do these types of aim settings matter of course they do but that's not all you should be using the loadout that they give you and then making it your own from there for example you may have trouble controlling horizontal recoil like i do but the loadout you are getting is mainly focused on controlling vertical recoil and warzone ttk matters but accuracy is everything so i'm going to help you find the best loadout for you and your play style and all you need is the free firing range go to the firing range and cross this line you will see the accuracy counter pop up then go back to the back of the firing range we were going to fire at one of these dummies five times then check back in on our accuracy if you play a lot of resurgence vondel or sheikah island you want to focus on this dummy if you play a lot more standard br on urzikstan focus on the back dummy and then if you're testing out smgs i always recommend the first dummy this is going to be the best way to find which weapon you're most accurate with for this particular test i'm using this mcw loadout built for horizontal recoil control and by round five i finished with an 84 percent score on accuracy which is great but i scored a 90 percent with this pull my oat so the best choice for me is the pull my which also just so happens to have a better TTK than that MCW anyway, which just makes it that much more reliable. All right, now let's get you those loadouts. All right, first up, we're going to test this Bass B right in front of you so you know what kind of accuracy I am hitting with it, and then we'll give you the loadout for it. And we'll do that with every loadout we have for you today. So we'll walk up to our line here, turn back, and let's test this Bass B out. 100% after round one, 100% after round two. 100% after round three. 100% after round four. We're going to get a straight 100% after this. 96% after round five. So we didn't hit all of them, but we got close. So very solid TDK hitting 96% of my shots after the accuracy test. Definitely probably my top option personally, but we'll test the others just to see. So for that Bass B, we went the Tyler 8 muzzle, the Bruin Venom long barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip, the 45 round mag, and the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope. Let's go test this MTZ 762, which is another one of my favorites that I'm loving right now. 100% after round one. 100% after round two, 94% after round three, 96% after round four, 96% after round five. So very solid as well. Only problem is that this comes with a 30 round mag. So probably not as crucial to use in like trios or quads. I'll probably have to go with the Bass B on this one. For that MTZ 762, I went with the VT7 Spiritfire Suppressor L, the MTZ Precision Black Thorn Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, the 30 round mag, which is the max you can have, and the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope. All right, so let's test this Pull Mayo, which I think is one of the more accurate weapons in the game right now. 100% after round one. 92% after round two. 94% after round three. 96% after round four, 93% after round five. So very, very solid. Comes with a 75 round mag or 100 round mag. So even better. So we're going to go with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor L, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope. And what I think makes this thing so broken is the Jack and I Ladder Bullpup Kit, which basically turns this thing into an AR. So it's very fast when it comes to the movement and everything. So that also unlocks this Command D15 recoil reduction pad. So slap that on there. And then I went with the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope. That's just my site of choice. So just because it's so clean and it's a 2.5 times scope, so it doesn't zoom in a whole lot. Then this might be the most accurate LMG in the game, which is the TAC Eradicator. It fires the first seven bullets it fires off are the fastest and that's what provides this insane amount of accuracy 100 after round one 93 after round two 95 after round three 93 after round four 
94% after round five. So very solid and a very, very little recoil. So we're gonna go with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor L again, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the Conqueror 70 Long Barrel, the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope, and the TAC Verde Core Stock, which provides that recoil, gun kick, horizontal recoil, and vertical recoil control. And then for our fifth most accurate weapon, I'm gonna have to go with the Bruin LMG. I think uh, it's very accurate, very solid. We're gonna test it for you right here. LMG seem to be the move right now for me uh it's either a battle rifle or lmg i hope they buff the uh the ars here pretty soon but it just this just seems to be it 100 after round one 100 on round two 100 on round three <laughs> just need to fire one more bullet it's crazy again 100 on round four 97% after round five. Might have to use this Bruin a lot more. Going to go with the VT7 Spiritfire Suppressor, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel. I know uh, the Bruin Tactical Vertical Grip is pretty solid as well, um, but I like the Bruin Heavy Support Grip a little bit more for my taste. The 23 inch XRK Horizon V2 Barrel. Uh, you get to slap on a 60 round mag with this thing, which maximizes the mobility for this particular LMG. And the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful at all, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that that noti bell so you don't miss a video like this or like any of these we'll see you in the next one